Today, we're going to try to extend the life of a Honda Sun Visor. Let's get to it. Honda Sun Visors are notorious for going bad, and this one is no exception. Typically, the mechanism right here gets really stiff or breaks. Like this one is really hard to push. And if I bring it back this way, I don't know if you can see, but you can tell that this is really flexing out a lot. In order for me to shut it, I actually have to press really hard right there to get it to shut. This one is still not too bad. This one works pretty good. That's like it's supposed to, but this one does not work. You know, not without a lot of effort. So we're going to see if we can't help it along and uh, prolong the life a little bit. I pulled the sun visor out. We'll take it over to the bench and work on it. I'd prefer to do that rather than do it in the car, but we could have just as easily done what I'm going to do right in the car. If you want to know how to remove it, I'll put a link in the description to a video where I show you how to do it. Here's a little bit better look at it out of the vehicle. And so this is how it would be mounted in the vehicle, right like this, when I took it out, pointed down. And I can't even, I can't even turn it to get it back into position like it should be like that. It's so stiff, I feel like I'm going to break this right here. I can't, yeah, I can't even hardly move it. So it, it's a wonder this thing hasn't broken completely in half. Now, this one is, obviously, it's pretty far gone, and we may not be able to bring it back to life, but we're going to try. In order to try to bring it back to life, I'm flexing it right now so you can, hopefully you can see, there's a bracket right there, and what we want to do I'm going to take some WD-40, good old WD-40. We'll extend this out. We'll put the straw in there. We'll just try to spray it. Now, sometimes what can happen is we'll make a little uh, mess on the outside. It could happen on both sides. But at this point, I would rather have a little mark from WD-40 and be able to use my sun visor than uh, have it nice and clean and not be able to use it. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so we'll just put the straw right in there and I'll just spray it just a little bit and you can see it already came through just a tiny bit and that's what happens this is why I don't want to do it in the car I, if I'm gonna get any spray anywhere I just want it right here and I'm just gonna try to work this a little bit now at least I was able to move it somewhat but this is still really stiff so I'm just gonna work on this for a bit and see what happens All right, if we look at it now, so that's how it would be completely closed. And it should just pop open. And you can see it works a lot better now. And it should snap back. When I bring it all the way back, it should kind of snap. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we'll take a look at the damage. We got a little bit of the spot right there. And we will be able to see that when it's on the car, not much. And then we have this little spot up on top. We'll just try to blot that dry a little bit. Um, that will be covered. That'll kind of be hidden. So the looks like we got a little bit right there. And like I said, that's not much you can do about that. It's going to bleed through a little bit. Like I said, I'd rather have it work and have a little bit of a spot. Later on, we could work at trying to get that out with some upholstery cleaner if we really wanted to. In fact, you may not want to blot it because that can sometimes make it worse depending on what they, what's inside there, how much junk is inside there. But let's go put this back on the car and see what it does. Okay, the sun visor is reinstalled. Let's check it out. I do see a little bit of a mark right there where our WD-40 bled through. That's pretty common. There's a hole in the mechanism right there, so that's where it's going to leak out. We could try to clean it a little bit with some upholstery cleaner, but we do take a chance on making it worse, so word of caution on that. Let's check it out, see how it operates. Hey, I'm liking that. That is a lot better than it was. Makes a little bit of a noise snapping shut, and that's just because that mechanism was pretty far gone. We could, probably should have done this a while ago on this car. But hey, it's working. It's staying in position, and it snaps shut. I like that. We can see 
a lot of times when they break they hang down like this and like if I get in the car I hit my head on it and it drives me crazy so I'm very glad that this is uh, working properly compared to the other one alright well there you go WD-40 for the win and as always if the video helped you out you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching